All right, for those ladies and gentlemen who are watching and suddenly things went down and came back up or did something crazy ass to you, I apologize, but apparently OBS decided it wanted to crash like a motherfucker on me. Hey, Jeff. Um, Yarash pointed out that so far I'm the only DM that's TPK to party in 30 minutes. Uh, is that a challenge? I, I can't remember what adventure that, that happened in. I know I did it in an AL adventure. Maybe that's the one that he's talking about. I try not to TPK. I may be a cruel bastard, but I am on the side of the players. Besides, if you die, you can't keep suffering. Exactly. Their uh, their dice rolls sucked that night, and mine were on point, so it just kind of worked out. Well, yeah, it's kind of like tonight. My dice have been freaking hot tonight. And the bad part is, is it was just like a, a random encounter traveling from here to there. Yeah, that's what those skeletons just were. That was a random encounter. But it appears we have two people who are not yet back. One person who is not yet back. I still think we need to look into that mod that like won't let our player roll over a certain amount of number. Don't even. We're not even going to say that publicly because then everybody is going to be like, "Oh, you're using the dice mod. You're using the dice mod." No, no, I'm not. If It'll somebody called, has but, written that extension, it is not on the forums. It'll be called the Tragon mod. <laughs> hey, Doug, do you think you could hard code that into the settings just in Fantasia Ground itself? All right, I missed the conversation. I just got back to my chair. What a mess. Have, wait, 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 uh, have a me. setting to where you can set the max that the players can roll? <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, all of you have 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 finished your combat with the skeleton or the skeletons and the animated armors that were in the other room and look around to see that there doesn't appear to be any, be any like additional enemies nearby. But you do have a new drow and you can still hear this woman pleading from you from the other side of the door that that she can help. Hey, what's your name? My name is Adala, and and I'm a I'm a priestess. Does somebody need help? If you get me out hey. of this prison, I can help you. Hey, how, how long have you been in there? I'd like to oh. roll an insight check. Does she seem genuine? Okay, you can roll an insight. Please do so in the tower. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I've been in silly. here for. I've been in here for, for for a week. Okay, so eight more hours should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys just took a long rest less than eight hours ago. You can't take another one. We did? Yes. Right, how about 36 hours? We did. I thought it was a free session. Actually, it was during last session that you guys took a, a long rest. What kind of a priestess are you? I'm a priestess of Soon Firehair, the goddess of beauty and love. Please, a wizard trap me in here. Please, let me go. I will know that the priestess of the uh, goddess of beauty tend to share her beauty. Oh, yes. Just throwing that out there to, to the group. But is she a beautiful bugbear or a... a and know, furball or... Drow or whatever. Depending when on we the swipe left or swipe right, all living things are beautiful. 
Point is, we should, we should probably open the door. No, you guys did not take a short rest. Okay. We picked up literally right after you guys got done fighting. I turn around to... I'm going to try to get his name right. Uh, Benazar. And I say, new guy, you open the door. Can do. I'm going to call him Guarda. Ah. All right. Uh, I'll take a look at this here door. Okay. You can see that there is a number of spidery runes that have been etched and empowered within the door. Spidery runes, you say? <laughs> Spidery. Not as in that it is not written in drow or any such thing, but they are runes written in an arcane language. Okay. I think there's something I... trapped something behind a door. May I roll an arcana check to see if I recognize these runes? You may do so. And I tray on the door I was next to. Okay, that door is absolutely fine, sir. You can open it at will. But oh, don't. Wait I, one second. I'll I wait. would probably go ahead and do it. I mean, she seems like she's genuine Tragon, and she seems kind of hot. I mean, she's got a little bit of a gruffy voice and all, but she seems she's Spug, probably a smoke or a whiskey here. drinker. Spug, I'm over to I'm I'm to your left. That's not me down there. I know the elves all look alike, but that's not me down there. <laughs> Prettier. Yes, and th since the far prettier elf decided to roll an arcana check, uh, it is indeed some sort of arcane lock or binding on the door. Okay. It appears to have been done with somebody who had quite a bit of skill. Are you into binding? No, no! There are some in my temple who are, but not me. Too bad. We were there. Um, I don't have a knock spell or anything, so... Fifty Shades of Greyhawk? What's up? I've read I that book. Idea. I have an idea. Meanwhile, let me uh, let me get with Tragon for a minute. So are you going to open yep. the door, sir? No, I apologize. Sorry, you missed me. I was going to wait. I'm just watching what's going on with the uh, dro because, uh, you know, there's a trust issue going on here. Okay. Hey, lady, we're trying to get you out. We're just trying to come up with a, a plan here to get you out. Um, I'll ask her, how large is the room you're in currently? Um, it's a good-sized room. 20-ish um, by, I don't know, 50 feet or so. Uh, it's a library. Wow. Ooh. Okay. It sounds like this chick's got a big Adam's apple. So what I need for you to do... <laughs> I was going to have my wife actually roleplay this character f so you could get the full female experience, but uh, she is in bed at this point. What I need you to do, miss, is hey, proceed... Up. That'll uh, add to the effect. Proceed to the far end of the room, please. I can do that. All right. Uh, I will turn around and look at Cousin Eddie. I'm like, oh, God, you're big. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's what the ladies say. <laughs> sir, sir, can I have you back up a little and, bit? And Harry. Since you called me sir, I mean, do you want me to open the door? That's usually what I do. I no, totally no, don't mind. We don't want to try and open the actual door. I'm going to try something that might be stupid, but I don't have a, I don't have a knock spell, so that's what we're doing. So you want me to open the door? No. Do I do? Do you, uh, uh, he doesn't know the rules. I don't know the rules. So do not open the door, please. I oh no, no that's door. not the. We we need to. So tell so this open this door rules. right here. Oh uh, shit! Oh god! Which you know door, door are we opening? Hey, Eddie, the top or the bottom? I Eddie, I I I reach into my pocket and I pull out three cigars and I go, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Oh shit. Eddie goes uh, walking over. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Snacks. I just got a finger gun at uh, Cousin Clark there. I'll take a step back. You, you, you got to make the you got to make the noise when you do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Shatter at the wall. 
Uh, let me draw a pointer here real quick. We're going to do that. Right there. Okay. Very good. That's where you're going to cast it. Yep. What are the doors made out of? Uh, most of the doors in this place have been made out of wood and or stone. Uh, they've either been reinforced wood or they've been made of stone. The door that you are currently near or she is behind is a reinforced door, once again, made of wood with metal bindings and has all those spidery runes lit up all over it. I was just wondering because if he if he shatters right there, twenty foot radius, it might blow open that door. So we should be mindful of that. Or it may reflect back and hit him right in the face. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, go for it. Your next character's name is going to be Rick O'Shea. <laughs> nah, nah. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. We're doing the shatter thing, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm I am gonna hit that door. So, not the not the ruined door, mm -hmm. but the other door. Yes, the other door. And I would like you to roll me percentile dice. All right. As <laughs> Dragon decides, he's going to shrink down and crawl inside one of the dead people's skulls. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> It does not reflect back on you. You do indeed I knew that. pelt the wall with your shatter and you know webs of, of, of broken stone and masonry appear as it uh, looks like an invisible force crushes the wall. Doesn't make the wall go away, not by a long shot, but you have indeed harmed the wall. All right. Uh, I got one more of those. Unless one of you big bugbears wants to try and give it a kick. Hey, Eddie, don't open the door. Which door? Don't, don't kick the wall. Don't kick the wall. No, don't open the wall. Yeah, I was going to say. Don't I don't just want wall. to also remind the rogue of the party that he can indeed uh, disable magical locks. Our rogue? Even with an arc, even if we just, well, have I been told about it? So guys, hang on one second. We have a rogue in the party? <laughs> a what? Hashtag Paul and Tragon. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've seen that it's called Rogue Nun. Out of the way and attempt to kick the door. <laughs> rogue Nun. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually doing that, Eddie? Yeah, I kicked, I kicked the shit out of that wall right there where you were at. That's no. <laughs> Why'd you do? No, I was pointing over there where the. Oh, drug. that's that's where you were standing when he told him to do it. I think this. God, he's he's really tired, Eddie. Just just sit there and smoke your cigar. Son You're good. <laughs> All right, what do you want me to roll? All right, in the tower, please roll me an Arcana check. Based on this, you will either have advantage or you will be rolling straight against the lock <laughs> as the drow yeah, runs. Yeah, I'm about to say, you might want to move. That ain't my forte. <clears throat> and, and we're about to learn how all these other bodies came to be on the ground. Uh, I think so. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> yeah, I'm being set up. You will not have, you will not have uh, advantage on this roll. So you may go ahead and use your thieves' tools to attempt to get your way through it. <laughs> does does anybody have inspiration left? Hell no. I actually, guess Eddie, hides behind actually hang on. I will give you a die of bardic inspiration. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, now I like the guy. Hey, maybe he's not so bad after all. You can do it, Trigon. I believe in you. What? Uh, that'd be a D6? Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. So you're like a motivational speaker kind of a bard? That's, mm. it's, it is one of my many tools, yes. <laughs> you can do it. Play the spoons, dude. Um, would you like to roll that bardic inspiration right now, Mr. Trigon? And we will add that to your, to your <sighs> dice roll. And since you are right there, you can see the, the silvery runes in front of you. You see them flare for a moment and go out as you hear the telltale. I know a guy back in flame. 
He plays spoons. His name is Omi Barton. He's pretty good with those things. What what instrument do you play? My specialty is the shamisen I have here, right? The what? The who? The shamisen. It's a. The fuck is that? Out, out of character. <laughs> uh, it's kind of. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were gonna say something like a lute or a skin flute or uh, no, some no. drums or a bagpipe, but a, whatever you just oh, said. That one got. A shamisen is kind of like a Japanese banjo. Should have just said Japanese? lute. It is not a lute. Don't fucking call it a lute. It's a guitar. Okay. Jeez, don't be so Rec- sensitive. All right, everybody, no, let's I- just relax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recognizing our on the fucking dark elf. I mean, <laughs> I- see, yeah. <laughs> seeing this, I will look back to the uh, new companion and go, "Did I do it right?" Because I saw oh. some flare. I will tentatively come up and check. Uh, you walk, and before you even get to the door, you can see the fact that the arcane runes are gone. You did it. He did it. Cool. Okay, I guess I got it unlocked. Real well, do I? Nicely done. You want me to check it again to see if anything else is going on with it, or we um, trust it? The thing about wizards who do this kind of thing is they they get pretty confident in their locks. I don't think there's any additional traps. Let's see him run back across the room after he has said that. Yeah. that was so, gonna roll in, so how gonna does roll that look? In, how uh, does that look when a rogue actually disarms? A, are you basically erasing the runes? You're like, or well, in this case, what in this case Trigon did was while he was attempting to pick the lock, he was also examining the magical weave that was going around the door. And as he was tumbling the lock with his picks, he would watch the runes as they glowed, like, brighter or softer. And he figured it all out as he was doing it, kind of like a puzzle. And he was able to trip the lock, which indeed turned off all of the runes as well. That's pretty boss. Yeah, That's baby. unbelievable. Yeah, baby. Trigon did unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. I am yeah. going to uh, slyly do another investigation check on the door, just to be sure. It does not appear to be trapped, it does not appear to be locked, and there does not appear to be any sort of magic on the door anymore. Then I will give the door a tug. Okay. It doesn't tug, it does push, though. Wow. I'll push it. There. I, uh, I nudge it with my foot. Maybe you should weave it alone. Pass. <laughs> wah, wah. This room was once a library or a study. Bookshelves stand against the walls. Piles of books rest on a reading table in the middle of the room. The air reeks of a moldy paper. Doors exit to the north, east, and south. The north one is the one you currently are at. A beautiful slender woman with long black hair stands against the south wall, over by the south door. Yes. Uh, she looks extremely sad. Her clothing is well worn, but it does very little to detract from her appearance. Let's get Guys, there's a the girl in here. There's a girl in here. How, uh, hey. how, how's it going in here? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for, for freeing me. How could I ever repay you? Uh, uh, to a bear. Yeah. Roll chuckles. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative, no. Uh, well, well, unless it's amongst yourselves to try to do something to her. She yeah. is yeah, indeed... Yeah. A beautiful, beautiful human woman who does appear to have some elvish features to her. Her eyes are slightly turned. She does have a slight point to her ears. Um, but she is drop-dead gorgeous. Do you do you have any fur bulg in you? <laughs> you want some? Well, you Not want yet. Some? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Not- assure you, my, my lady, your safety is the only payment I need. I sneak Ooh. up behind her and I perform perform my leg humping skill as it looks like <laughs> Splug is humping her leg, but in all reality, it looks like a monkey fucking a football. No, bad job. She, she turns around to look at you while you're humping her leg and she kind of kidding. I don't hump her leg. puts her arm around you and, and tossles the hair yeah. on your head and kind of tweaks the tips I of your ears and smiles at you. Uh, yes, keep going, my lady. 
his, his left leg starts kicking. Which of you? Which of you is the one who opened the door? Well, that's me. That was that was a team effort between myself and uh, this other half elf. I don't think I have your, I got your name yet. Are you? We just kind of happen upon each other. Who, who are you talking to? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. My name's Tragon, Miss Blade. Nice. Nice to work, be working with you. So Tragon and myself, Benazar, uh, Go Ardra. Wait, all of you are wounded. What's happened? There's a bit of a fight. Oh, we were trying to we were trying to uh, to to find you, and as you were calling out our names, we we were attacked by a bunch of suits suits of armor and and undead, and we just needed to get to you. That's what took us what? so long. Well, the wizard who imprisoned me here, he's taken my holy symbol, but I can still cast some curative magics. I w I will start with the two that helped open the door. C come forward, please. Let me oh, let no. me cure you. Please, uh, heal uh, Cousin Eddie, or do this particular bugbear. He seems even more wounded than I am. Didn't we find a holy symbol in the other room? I thought we did. Let's check our party sheet. Dragon, I, I, can, I know exactly what you're going for, and she is 100% legit. Thank you. So she reaches so out... Then I'll come in there if I'm feeling that. Okay. She reaches out and she touches Eddie on the forehead. And let me find where is it? There it is. She heals you for like fourteen D eight. She gives you a heal. So All of your wounds closed. Eddie looks at her and says, So uh do you come here often? I've been here for a week. I have done nothing but sit here for a week. Would you like something to eat and something to drink? Are you hungry? I have been able to sustain myself with my magic. Blessed me by my goddess. Please. And she calls over Trigon and and uh, your new drow friend. You're both wounded. Here, let me let me help. I, well, I was going to say, uh, I, was, I was going to give Rupert and cousin uh, Clark the uh, thumbs up that I think that she's do, do you want this instead I said I would rather pass it along to my companions thank you for the offer but they are in need of it more than I am she casts a cure on to Benazar I will okay. heal whomever who, who, who needs it next <laughs> I guess I'll line that <laughs> like a little, little <laughs> kids a little at the... first session to go up to her there's for Cousin Clark. Thank you. And she Lady. steps forward to oh. Rupert. Heals him as well. I'll I, slide I'm... my eye patch to the side and say, I can see! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I have no more curative magics. That, that was all of my power. And she Thank looks you, at though. Tregan. Would you accept a blessing from my goddess instead? Sure. She reaches out and with a soft oh, hand on the side of your face, it. she looks deep into your eyes. They're oh. like swimming pools of sapphire. You almost get a glimpse in your mind for a moment of like undressing her with your eyes as she leans forward oh. and gives you the softest kiss on your lips. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm almost there. Keep going, Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that slapping? What's that going to be? Here? What did you just roll? I like the fact so, that Dave added, keep going, Dungeon Master. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck but, Trigan, you happened? definitely want to sit down. Your knees kind of buckle beneath your legs. You're like, oh my god. Okay. Wow. He jizzed in his pants. He did indeed. That was, first of all, remember, this is Soon Firehair. This is a priestess of Soon Firehair. Soon does not allow any of her priests or priestesses to have anything less than an 18 charisma. And they show their blessings with sex and kissing, etc. 
Oh, baby. Um, you can, yeah, you can, you can remove that bardic inspiration from me, too. I used it. Yep, I'll get there in a second. Uh, yeah. What else happened? Huh? Basically, the, the it was a divine kiss, is what she gave you, and it buckled your knees. I'm going to sit down for a moment, guys. <laughs> Lightweights. Nobody would ever kiss Slug like that. And so, know. as Tregan sits down, he falls asleep. Ah, oh, shit. I think no. the shit out. It's a trap. No, he looks like he he's sitting there with a smile on his face, and he looks like he is peacefully resting. Does he giggle every time somebody touches him? <laughs> is his mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's sitting there with a smile on his face, kind of his hands crossed over his belly, and she's drool just petting her. Side. Yeah, drool coming out of the side, petting his head gently. You know, playing with his hair as he as he sits there sleeping. That's a uh, that's a pretty effective. Oh, picture. there I go. Yeah, and then I flop over on the ground. Yes, eyes roll up in the back of my head, and apparently I no fall backwards. No, you don't. You're no. <laughs> sitting there quietly in a chair. You are a happy, happy camper. So tell me about this wizard. <sighs> Terrible bastard. Absolutely terrible. I will move Tregan to the chair so she can walk around him. Did you know his parents? Excuse me? You said he was a bastard. <laughs> I got it, dude. I got that. I, I got, got that, that, too. I did not know of his parents, but he came here looking to cause trouble. When I discovered his duplicitous nature, he trapped me here. So you were here already? We Is had come together as, as companions. We had come here together as, as traveling companions to help rid the area of the evil stench that comes from this mountain. And he betrayed me. Now, he lives somewhere deep below these halls. He's, he's looking for a way to prolong his life using Durgadin's forges and the magic inherent to the area. Do you prolong want a dead fair lady? Sorry, two people talking at once. What? Go ahead. Prolong, prolong his life, you say? I do believe I did just say that. Uh... You know, uh, by which means, besides, or any more specific means? I am a priestess. I am not a wizard. He's searching for some arcane means. Do you well, want him dead? That's not good. I would like him brought to justice. Justice we can do. Is that another traveling companion of yours? <sighs> do you... And she steps around, Splug. Oh, you. For being in the way. She reaches over and she pats Rupric's face oh so gently and smiles. You are the cutest deer. And she cups your face with both of her hands and plants a kiss on your lips. Um. My mistletoe belt's down a little bit lower. <laughs> we could discuss that. Whoa, whoa! Well, I'm I'm leaving the channel for this. I, two dudes doing that. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> she says that to you, and you smile as you your knees buckle. And she says, "Please accept the blessing of the goddess." And you will sit on the floor and sleep. What are you doing here, putting all of my friends to sleep? It's not what me that puts them to sleep. She Cousin, smiles. Cousin Eddie will walk up and be like, excuse me, um, is that a, a mirror in your pocket? 
I have no... I have nothing in my robes. I see. I, I thought I saw myself in your pants for a minute. Well, I'm not wearing any. <laughs> uh, does she stop me trying to get out the door here? No. If you wish to pass by her, matter of fact, she'll even move. All right. And she pats Eddie on the face, you know, one of those caresses that goes from his ear down his jawline, and then she kind of clips his, his, his chin with a, with a lacquered nail, and she looks at Splug. You seem to be a holy man. I, I am. I'm powered by Thor. Ooh, tell me of this Thor. Well, he's the god of all gods. He's the god of thunder. He's the god of lightning. Ooh. He is the one... One god that rules them all. Yeah. No pun intended there. She she kind of squats down on one knee in front of you. I don't want you. no kisses though, because you're putting all my friends out, and I don't I don't think that's uh I don't think that's in the works for me. She looks deep into your eyes. Oh. Oh boy. So yeah. tell me more of this. <laughs> Thor, he must be strong to have someone so faithful as you. Uh, Please, uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Foul succubus. Talk dirty. <laughs> Please note, Please note that at the moment, this is a metagame kind of thing. Please note, there are two player characters who have something drastically wrong on their character sheets. Yeah, they're dead. And Splug, you want to tell her everything about Thor. She is the most trustworthy woman you have ever met. I don't trust that dice tower, but I'll go along with it. Ah, oh, yes. Thor is the best. See, it all began many years ago as I... Well, I'll just go to the abbreviated version. Thor is a badass. And, like I said... He's the god of all lightning. He's the god of thunder. He has a son, and his son is called Zeus. And what else can I say? I worship him. All. Hey, he he's the best. Does does I, Thor have a wife? He's got a bunch of wives. He used to bang a bunch of humans. Really? Yeah. Oh, he sounds promiscuous and fun. Are his priests the same? Uh, no, I'm a eunuch. <laughs> oh, that is stuff. a pity. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was found by a temple, and there was a private sect within the temple. It was a, it, it was a temple of Morden, and, and there were some acolytes inside of this temple, and they were kind of doing their own thing with Thor, and, and then I kind of caught them one time, and, and they were all, you know, in there mingling around and they she looks at you forth. dead in the eyes yeah. and holds uh, yeah. a finger uh, up to your lips uh, yeah. and she gives you a kiss uh, <laughs> do we do we notice like do i notice that these other characters are not normal they are they look like they are blissfully sleeping I didn't trust it. But anyway, she, <laughs> she stabbed me with some type of charisma check. I would like to note that I am unslinging my instrument. Uh, Rupert does that in his sleep, too. I just saw a bunch of dice <laughs> being <laughs> Well, but Splug, you don't fall down asleep. I, I just kind of slide down. Knowing that, uh, do I still have any kind of, like, do, do I have any, because I was thinking that this is a bunch of crap, you know what I mean? Because he, she took out Tragon, she took out Rupert, so I'm starting to see what's happening here. Now, do I kind of still think that, hey, this is sort of like some kind of gimmick going on here, or, or am I infatuated with it? See, there is, a, there is a small voice in the back of your mind that is screaming Warning, warning, this is dangerous. 
However, your conscious right. However, your conscious mind is there's nothing this woman could do in this world that would hurt me or my friends. She is the best. Wouldn't they possibly clue in that I'm not goofing off or messing things up? I'm just sitting there, so it's quite unnormal for me. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I will allow the final three. I will allow them maybe a wisdom check. A wisdom check. That would work. A wisdom check. Okay. Uh, I do have an action I want to take. Oh, sorry. Let me do that in the tower. I close my eyes, and I just kind of have visions of orgies and stuff. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, she she's an evil temptress. I mean, God, she's got fucking... No, no, no. No, no, no what I'm about. laughing about is Benazar's wisdom check. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he got a straight up zero. Wow. But go ahead, Benazar. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to try and get her attention. Excuse me, my lady. Hmm. And I'm going to cast, cast uh, Charm Person. For what reason? To charm her. For what reason? <laughs> I'm, I'm not the DM's plans. Here. No, 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 no. I'm just no. I'm asking. The reason why I'm asking this is, without the metagame information, as far as you know, these two other people went to sleep and they're healing, and Splug looks absolutely fantastically happy. Nobody thinks that she's done anything untoward. Matter of fact, she's healed all of you, as many of you as she possibly could. So I want to know why you're casting Charm Person on her without having any instance to do so other than metagame information. Because I do not trust anyone because I'm a follower. You of... have a wisdom check of a zero. Right now you would trust a goat to fuck your mother. Okay. Never mind that. <laughs> I'm just saying. And it wouldn't even be bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. And I'm going to see some video on that, I hope. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't cast a charm person, I'm just saying come up with a different reason. The only reason I have is that I'm a follower of the of a, a god of lies. I believe everyone is lying all the time. I believe everything is a lie. I always tell lies. Ah, well, in that case, I'll allow you an insight check. So basically what you're telling us is that you lied to us when you came first and said that the skeletons weren't with you and they really were? Sure. All right. Because of your heritage, you don't trust her. You don't trust anything about her. And as you stand there watching, this is what you see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see what's going on. Okay. I'm leaving it up to the new guy to save all your asses. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <sighs> oh no, let's open the door. It'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, there was an arcane lock there for a reason, wasn't there? Uh, I'm metagaming, gonna say, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, it's always too good to be true. And then I'm going to cast Phantasmal Force on her instead. Please roll initiative before doing so. All right. And she is going to roll initiative as well. The You two boys can also roll initiative. Splug, you can roll initiative. However, Rupric and <laughs> Trigon cannot. Jeff, how did you get them to show dying in the combat tracker when their tokens still have colors on them? How do you do that? Maximum hit point change. Oh, okay. I was like, what? How the hell do you... Nah, that would... Okay, I got you. There you go. All right. Who won? She oh, did. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Well... 
All right, let me get out the player's handbook for my next game. <laughs> and in the player's handbook, it says the following. <laughs> she goes ahead and she walks over behind Splug and around the table over by Cousin Clark. Here we go. Taking the long she, way around. Is she uh, hostile at this point? No, she is not hostile at all. Okay. She actually kind of walks with a shimmy and a shake. Her hips sway side to side. Hey, baby, you want some fries to do with that shake? <laughs> I'm almost there, Mr. Dungeon Master. Keep going. <laughs> all right. And she I'm walks over and I'm getting there. <laughs> she's, she, she's saddles up next to Cousin Clark and twines her her arm inside his and she looks to the north and, and and at Benazar and she says there's something not quite right with that one I don't trust him a bit Benazar it is your turn alright We'll go ahead and do the Phantasmal Fort. Does the spell require a verbal, somatic, or material component? Tell me what it requires. Uh, all three. All three? All right. So you start casting from where you are. You wave your hands and pull out your material components or your spell focus, as the case may be, but not a word comes out of your mouth. Oh, good. Okay. You do Plan not expend. You do not expend the spell slot, by the way. Plan B. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> and by the way, to the cousins, um, you just saw him try doing something. He like pointed his fingers and waved his hands and pulled shit out of his has pockets and waved them at him, but she didn't. He didn't say anything, and then turned and apparently ran away. And cousin Eddie was gonna ask him what in the hell he did, but he just ran away. I thought he was a bard. Um, he looked more like a mime. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mime nice. is an art form. Cousin Eddie's just gonna hang out. He doesn't. Know what in the hell's going on? I'll I'll ready in action if something bad happens to to swing some stuff around. Cousin Clark, uh, does he feel compelled in any way to, you know, like she whispered, "Oh, I don't, I don't know about that guy over there." And then you do not feel compelled. That, he ran away. Okay, so do I feel that she's my enemy? No. You feel you feel about her as much as you feel about the drow. I mean, you just met the both of them right. within like minutes of okay. each other. So Whoa. Whoa, hang hang on a second. Rob, listen to this. Listen to this. Maybe this girl character is actually the new PC being introduced to the party, and the drow's the bad guy. You gotta go kill the drow. <laughs> Mind is blown. Not the um, first time I've done something like that. I am... I think Clark is getting nervous that people are asleep and running away and he is going to assume that she is either directly or indirectly responsible for what's happening and is going to step over here and push Trigon back so that he lands on the floor from the chair. And, and he does. Him up. It, it should wake him up. Hey, he splatters on the floor like yesterday's flower. Okay. Does he, does he wake up? Oh, he doesn't even make a noise. Okay, that is going to set me off knowing that something's not right here. If he doesn't wake up. So I'm going to turn to Eddie and be like... We need to be worried about this. And then I'm going to turn around and glare at her 
and then wait. Splug, it seems like the cousins may be getting ready to attack your woman. Well, I kind of didn't trust her in the first place, if my memory serves me correctly. Mm -hmm. But she is delicious, and no harm should ever befall her. Mm. You're putting me in a pickle here. Okay, never. I thought you were putting the pickle in her. That's what he wants. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I can. I'm a eunuch. Remember, I mean, Slug is a eunuch. Yeah, but you keep it in a jar, right? I got to sit pickle. down and pee. <laughs> I don't stand up and pee. I sit down and pee. So, I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, is there any way that I can try to ascertain the situation here? Because I, my mind is racing here. My mind is conflicting. I'm having both, uh, you know, the id and egos going off here. I've got one devil on one shoulder saying that, kill the bitch, and then the other good angel on my other shoulder is saying, oh, it's okay. She's got a vagina. She's got boobs. And I don't know what to think. <laughs> to be honest, the strength of her compulsion over you is stronger than your personal feelings, though they are loud inside you. These are the cousins. I mean, you do call them your sons, your nephews, etc. That is up to you to choose on how you wish to proceed with that. Hmm. I'm going to hold an action, and if things get out of hand, then I will act. But I, I, I still want to kind of play both sides of my, of my head here, and I will pass it. Trigan, please roll me a death save. Oh, God. Now I know what I want to do now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Rubric, please roll me a death save. Uh, all right, come on. All right, got it. Oh, sorry. Intern. She smiles. Starts walking back around. She's not making any hostile moves at all. She starts walking back around this other way. She gets to about where Splug is, tossles his hair and pinches his ear, and then disappears. What? And he immediately looks at Clark and is like, what? Splug, you're no longer charmed. So what do I feel like? I've been violated? You oh, yeah, I'm pissed because yeah. I was charmed. Yeah, you were oh, charmed. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, man. Imagine, imagine if you will, you were a bystander that could do nothing. You watched out through your own eyes as your body basically had taken itself over. You feel weak right now. I, you, you're you're I not feeling it. good. Hey, uh, hey, Pops, what, what's happened, man? What's going on? I, I don't know. That that witch had some kind of spell on me. She I just was, disappeared. She, she put a spell me. on you. And I so, know I was charmed because you 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 know when you're the charm wears off, you know that you're charmed and you're actually pissed about that. So mm -hmm. cousin Eddie his cigar in his mouth will inhale for what seems like an eternity, and then just blow it out. Six seconds, as much man, of the room six seconds. That's all you got. Some, yeah. <laughs> six seconds. <laughs> and that's, that's longer big, than that's usual. Drag, yes, please keep in and, mind, gentlemen, that we are still in combat rounds. So he will uh, he'll inhale real deep and then blow the smoke out, um, kind of waving it around to see if it maybe catches the shape of the the woman that was just there uh splug you can use that held action to roll medicine or some other such thing you now know what she was so would it be uh would it be some type of religion check uh no you know you know that she was a succubus you know because of the charm and how intimate of a link it was you know what she was 
but I the it. I knew I knew she had wings. But the medicine what check about, would be uh, for your hit points and for the two gentlemen who are laying on the ground at the moment. And this is your held action. She was. What she about was the, What about my smoke blowing? Does that do any, anything? Nope. Nothing. I feel violated. Nothing. Um. All right, I'm going to uh, take two steps for the, towards the door and ready in action. Anything bumps me or jostles me or disturbs me, I'm swinging at it. Okie dokie. Okay, uh, does Clark have information? I mean, since Splug came out of it and he knows it was a succubus, does Clark have information that he can do anything to help the unconscious people? Not until... Not until Splug can say anything about it. Um, at the moment, Splug, you know that yourself and the two gentlemen who are laying on the ground have been energy drained. Yeah, I feel like it. But you so what would I know to, to counter that? Being a, you know, being a man of faith and man of healing and, and whatnot. I mean, what would I know to counter that? Restoration magic of some kind. Okay. Or maybe a lot of prayer. As in, like, a full rest? Or as in, like, I need to call upon Thor? As in, you may need to call upon Thor. Oh, boy. So I'll, he's not, I'll ask... He's not going to uh, like that all the time. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll ask Splug, uh, uh, what what happened? What, 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 uh, I guess I'm trying to find more words, but I'll just stick with what happened. <laughs> She's a succubus. Sort of like the opposite of an incubus. You know, the incubus would be the guy, and then the succubus is the female. And they suck the life out of you. That's, that's how they, they play their, their lutes, they play their harps, and they, they use their good looks to lure you into the Venus flytrap, and then they just suck you dry like a typical woman. So that means that the Incubus puts life into you? No, no, he, he would totally suck the life out of a woman. By You're putting the opposite, you big knucklehead. It's not like a straw. Oh. Can we do anything, Uncle Splug, to help? Yes, we can team. give them mouth to mouth to try to rev revivicate them. Okay, uh, Clark <laughs> immediately, without hesitation, starts giving mouth to mouth to Trigon. It's like an anti succubus kiss. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got to wipe my mouth. I got drool coming out of the side of it. Sorry. So. Yeah, that's what he thinks that's, it is, Drool. I, I spend my turn trying to revive Trigon. <laughs> okay, then you can go ahead and roll a medicine <laughs> check. Told me. Okay. So I do have a I do have a question. Mm -hmm. What what type of time frame do I know that they would die? They will die if they are not taken care of like very, very soon. You can watch you're watching their souls leave their body right now. Sort of like juice out of a prune, huh? Oh yeah. That's one word for it. Juice out of a Capri Sun. Okay. Ugh. All right. I did my medicine check and then. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm like, Eddie and Clark, I have no magic. There's nothing that I can do from a magical standpoint. The only thing that I can do as I start pulling out some chalk and some incense and some candles and whatnot, ball bearings and grease and oils and <laughs> everything. <laughs> I need to call upon my deity. I need to call upon what? Thor to see if we can get some type of help because I, I, I have nothing. I'm spent. I wouldn't have got, like, when one of my good dreams gone to nightmares when that happened with Clark kissing me? Would that no, have changed? No, because that's, that's <laughs> vital. Because he's, he's trying to put the, the life force back into you. But you're you're unconscious anyway. Yeah. You shouldn't be talking to me. So, unconscious people can't talk. He's he is well beyond unconscious. He is well so Clark, beyond that. Cousin, you just keep giving them mouth to mouth, and you start just okay. popping their chest. And, and I'm, I'm gonna also um, using a lot of tongue. So <laughs> okay, all right, that works. That works. All right, so gentlemen who are currently working with Splug's assistance, I will allow both Eddie and Clark. 
if Eddie is going to help. If Eddie is not going to help, then I will scratch this. But you'll have advantage on a medicine check. For each success on these medicine checks that either of you get will be a success on their death saves. Okay. A failure does not count as a failure for their death saves. Okay, here we go. All right, let's all hold hands, and we need to chant. <laughs> do we need to do that on our turn or do it now? Uh, since you have basically a held action, you can do it now, and that was a fail, Cousin okay. Clark. Okay. So, and uh, I get advantage on that medicine check? Yes, you do, because Splug is helping. Oh, God. I'm assuming my first one a while ago was also a fail. Yes, it was. However, Eddie is actually damn good at it, and I'm assuming he was working on Rupric. He, Rupric, you will get an additional success. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. <laughs> so, Splug, could you please advance your turn, sir, since you are aiding these two in helping, plus you're praying to Thor at the same time. Yes, and I'm sprinkling some chalk and some dust and some grease. And you said Rupert got stuff. an extra success? Yes, so you should have two right, at this so point. Two now. Yep, and Trigon, you need to make me a uh, death save. Uh-oh, you're beginning to slip away. Rupert, please make me a death Keep save. Keep that mouth-to-mouth -mouth going. You'll, you'll be okay. I'm keeping it going. Rupric succeeds. Rupric starts breathing again, but he is unconscious. He will not be conscious again until either A, his maximum hit points have returned, or B, his wounded state is gone and he can have positive hit points again. I'm spent. But you are stable, so that's good. <laughs> Benazar. Well, meanwhile, six miles away. Benazar, running like a motherfucker. Guys, check Discord. Yeah, I saw that. That was cute. No, <laughs> Shortest. Geo, Jeff, Jeff, look at lower down, past the graphics. Past the graphics? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. I see that. Oh, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> Okay, Cousin Eddie. Uh, cousin Eddie. So, Rupert is now... Rupert's good? He's unconscious, but he is breathing. Very, very shallow. And we have no idea where this lady is. Um, nope, not a clue. What do I have in my backpack? Um... We wouldn't happen to be in, like, open air right now, would we? Because I can totally plant the shit out of this tree. No, we are not in open air. Um, hmm. Can I go over and give some mouth-to-mouth -to, -mouth to uh, Team Tragon? <laughs> yeah, let's double-team him. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's but only one of you, only one of you, will be able to do the medicine check on him. All right, so I'll uh, I'll go over here and uh, tell Clark. Let me show you how this is done. All right, and uh, <laughs> a attempt to uh, make out. I mean, mouth to mouth with Tragon. Still has the cigar hanging out of his mouth while he leans down. That's right. That's how does right. this not wake me up? It goes, yeah, the cigar goes, like, to the extreme side of one mouth, and then hey, it, but he's still, like, mouth-to-mouth -mouth with the edge of the cigar in there. It, it's <laughs> better that you're not awake to, to go through this, otherwise you might never be the same. Oh, there is a success. So, tree gun. So I come up, one success. Off. Yeah. I had, what would you say, one or two? Uh, you should have, at this point, you should have a total of two, because you made one roll, and now you've had one success from them helping you. So it should be two okay, and one for gotcha. you. Thank you. 
I reach over and I pluck the cigar out of Eddie's mouth and I put it in my mouth and then I continue mouth to mouth on Trey. Well, only one of you can do mouth to mouth on Trey on per turn. So. Mm, oh, I thought per stuff. turn. Oh, I okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. Well, in that case, that's not going to be as funny because I guess I don't do that. Um, can I still do a medicine check or no? Not that would help him. No. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to try and go rouse uh, Ruprecht. Okay. Don't try to arouse me. That That's not, what got not, me into this. Arouse. <laughs> no, no. rouse, not arouse. Slug, you can roll me a religion. <laughs> okay. Screw it. I'm going to change it to arouse. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> He's laying there with a tent. Oh, job well done. I finally did something. Got to pray harder. Okay. Yep, Thor has not heard your prayers as of yet. Trigan, please roll me another death save. I'm just getting warmed up. There is your third success, so you are now just unconscious, sir. I'm Thank you. So can we, like, stop and and take a long rest now? Since I'm sure that the lady has left the room. The lady has indeed left, and I will allow Splug one more roll on the religion check at advantage. Thor, hear my call. I know I, I know I bug the shit out of you all the time, and I'm I'm sure there's probably not many goblins that are worshiping you, so please take that into consideration as well. But I need some help here, my friends and I. We could use your help. Thor seems to have heard you. Connection is fuzzy. But you do now have a line to him. Go ahead and ask what you want. Thor, I have a, I have a couple of my pals here. And you have to excuse them. They are bugbears. They are part, but they are part of the goblinoid family. But if you could help... Rupert, well, actually, he's a, you know, he's a furball guy. I mean, he kind of looks like a bugbear. And then I have Tragon. He's a good guy. Everybody kind of gives him shit all the time because he's not the best of rogue that we really need. But anyway, if you could give us some kind of blessing to bring those guys back to life, because Thor, I'm out of power here. I mean, I'm, I'm totally drained. So can can you give us a little something from up there in the clouds? And I, I don't want you to kill him or anything, but if you could just kind of resuscitate him and bring him back to life. And I will try. If you do this for me one more time, I promise at least for another couple sessions, I won't bug you anymore. <laughs> it, it turns out it was one of them jerk answering messages where it's like, hello? I got you. This is an answer message. Blug, please go ahead and roll me one final religion check, not only with advantage, but a plus five this time. That was a really good speech. Hey, thanks. Boy, I'm getting an advantage. Boy, I'm getting the, the full Monty here. So that means my rolls have really been shitty. Thor, you are you are the best, and that's why I've chose you over Morgan. And your son. I mean, your son's really good. But, I mean, you just take the cake. And in your mind, that is what you hear. Uh, well, Thor, you are the best. And then I conk out because I'm just exhausted. Uh, <laughs> drool and stuff coming out of my mouth and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Well, I know it's a little early, but we are actually missing a player at this point. Because he had another issue that he needed to go take care of. And this actually seems like a nice little place to stop for the moment, as all of you will take a long rest. And let's Yay. close the door. I was already in the process of taking a long rest. Did I get a head start from everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did. Sleep. We got a long, long rest. Sleep, my friends. Sleep. 
Mr. Dungeon Master, can you remove uh, exhaustion level three from me? I can indeed. As I have added number two. Matter of fact, uh, make it one. Uh, the words, the words of the what's, uh, yeah. what's that? I'm sorry? Make it exhaustion level one. Hey, look at there. That's did, the door uh, for you. Did Rupert have that condition for longer than four hours and <laughs> doctors or anything like that? <laughs> oh, he had it for quite a long time at this point. You're welcome. And I don't know how many max hit points we had. I don't know. If uh, don't worry, I, I got you covered on that. I have all the notes already over here on the side on how many max hit points all of you have. 87, I think, is what it was. 80, 87 is level 4, right? Yeah. yeah. However, those hit points will not return to you yet. Oh. Oh. Actually, Splunk's yeah, will. Mm -hmm. sucky, but... Splunk's will return to normal because he was not killed. Dragon and. Rupric, on the other hand, the two of you, yours, will not return yet. And next episode, which will be in two weeks, because next week is Gen Con and we're off for the week. Um, next week's Gen Con? Next week is Gen Con. What's Gen Con? You don't know what Gen Con is? I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a big, uh, it's a big video gaming conference. <laughs> oh, just stop, just stop. Oh, speaking of which, um, EtherCon is coming up in November. They is an online convention. However, I have been in touch with the coordinators of such, and they will not allow people who are using Fantasy Grounds to run a game. Yes. What the is, fuck? Uh, they so never, they never allow Fantasy Grounds. Yep, I oh, even I told... They said because they only wanted to have free-to-play and such and such. I'm like, I have the ultimate license and everybody's free-to-play on mine. And then they gave me a random piece of bullshit of, oh, we don't want people to install software. Okay. Yeah. So my yeah, channel... We, we offered to do the free-play thing, too, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, so my yeah. channel will be boycotting them um, because they're dicks and they can go fuck themselves. So you have to install an internet browser to use the other people. <laughs> that that's right. That's so right. that's yeah. hypocrisy. Hey, but nothing bad ever happens from an internet browser. Yeah. No, nothing at all. By the way, Chris, the other people. Nice move. Yeah, yeah. the other people. <laughs> well, that that con can enjoy the 20 fucking people that'll be there. So have fun, yeah. con. Yeah, exactly. It's like I have more people in my Discord than you have attend to your con. So yeah, have fun with that because we would have all come and we would have like, you know, had lots of fun and gone and played all sorts of games no matter what platform it was on if you weren't pricks. But because you're pricks, you can yeah, fuck off. I do not like hearing that. So there you go. Six Fantasy Ground streamers are telling you to screw off and you're not getting any of our people. <laughs> I didn't. No, I'll take, I didn't say that. I just said enjoy the twenty people that you're gonna have at your con. One of the one of the people in my uh, chat just said hashtag empty con. Yep. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, that's okay. But anyway, so August twenty so. third will be the next. Uh, yes. Wednesday. Yep. The next Wednesday we will be playing, and possibly maybe one or two sessions more, and we will be done with mine. Yeah. Okay. Who's That's good next? to know. Me. You're... Yeah, I probably need to go ahead and go buy the uh, Tales book so I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> Just read it in Fantasy Grounds. It's... Exactly. It's not the same. But anyway, so ladies and gentlemen who've been watching, thank you very much for good enjoying game. this game this evening, and yeah. we shall see you all later. Yep, we'll see you all later. Good job, guys. See you next good time. Good game, guys. Y'all have a good time for con. Yeah, enjoy your 20 fucking people. No, no, Jen.